Alright, so we got our footlongs. This is so sopping wet. Do you want to split it or are we eating a whole one by ourselves? I don't want to eat a whole one right now. I don't like want to eat a whole one it's either. It's a hot day in the car. We my, can split it. It's a hot day in the car, y'all. Okay, if we can just kind of. Oh, this is a. Oh look my at that. God, the cheese. Okay, so I heard them say inside, quote, there's too much water in the sauce after they made these. Really? Yeah, yeah, straight up. And so we got a real sopping wet. I mean, this is like a nice. I kind of like it because it's doughy feeling. It's supple. This is a supple sandwich. Right, cheers. Okay. Mmm. See that cheese? Mm, I mean, I haven't had one of these since high school. Damn. It would be the thing we did volleyball camp in the summer. There was lunch. You got to leave for an hour, and mm -hmm. it was like, oh my god. I'm in hell. <laughs> Volleyball camp is hell. And we'd all go and we all got meatball subs and then we'd come back to camp and be like, this is worse. <laughs> just look how the bread just gets immediately sogged and then Ooh. it turns into like a goo. Is it? Which, that's not cheese, that's that's bread goo. Oh, you're right. Yeah, the cheese is up but here, the bread goo's down there. Is it just me? Maybe it's because we got bigger, but did the, the balls get smaller? I think the balls were always this small. And if you have to ask if the balls got smaller, not a good sign. Said stay away from steroids. I'm just like, you know, savoring the meatball moment. I feel it. Let's sa savor our balls together. Cheers. So, uh, we're gonna fan. Dang, dude, what was that? I sucked the ball out. You. <laughs> Sometimes you gotta, kids. <laughs> you were saying? Sorry. I was like. Wait, one more. <laughs> Emily, look, there's one more. Wait. No, don't do it. Ugh, I don't like that. I think I, I think I. Oh have, my God! I slurped you. I got you. You got slurp my on bad. my, on my tit. Okay. Can we say tit? I got slurp on my tit. The meatballs. I think that's the biggest thing where we can improve the quality of Subway. There's the obvious using wagyu beef and stuff like that. Ooh. But I want to get a little crazier with it. I want to start mixing animals. That's a big thing in Italy. You'll do like you know veal, pork, all that type of stuff. Bread, obviously. I want to do something kind of in, it's inspired by Italian urban cheese but get a little fancy with maybe the construction of it. And then okay. sauce, I mean, like, if we're going to Italy, there's a lot of fancy, delicious ingredients we can use. You ever had a, a, a cured cod roast sack? Did you say ricod road sack or mm. just a cod road sack? Like, like a cod row, like a cod egg Roe. sack. No. You're about to. <laughs> Emily, chug the Red Bull. Get I the... really need the energy because I ate all that bread in the car. <laughs> How are you feeling after that meatball sub? Well, I got a little sleepy. I took an open eye nap on the- What is an open eye nap? That's not a nap. On the writer's couch. It's just when you stare at the thing you're supposed to do that day and then just zone out. That's just called working. No, it's not. Don't tell them that. All right, so we got to make our very fancy meatballs here and we got some very fancy meat. This is where we win. This is where we really beat Subway at their game. So we okay. have some A5 Wagyu. This is like the expensive stuff. This is a cow that is treated better than you and I will it ever be in our like life. like the set from Dune. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sexy Timothy Chalamet. So we got, yeah, it's like, it's very white because there's so much Timothy intramuscular Chalamet. fat. Dune. Yeah. And I'm Zendaya, I was in it for like 18 minutes. And I haven't I, seen it. I really mostly watched it for her. And then she's like, not really in the movie very much. What's up with that? Kind of pissed off. A lot of Chalamet. Anyways, a lot of, Os no, not Oscar Isaac. Jason Mansuk, he's in there. And then we have some Duroc pork. This is a heritage breed pig. This is a lovely slice of the leg right there. Or as no, actually, well, the shoulder. It's like a front leg. All right. I don't know. I thought I, you were gonna... I, I was just thinking about Dwayne Duroc Johnson and it being like a pig, but it's got like really jacked arms. Do you know? Dwayne, I got distracted. Sorry. Dwayne Johnson is very self conscious about his abs. He does really? not have great ab development. And then we have a little rack of New Zealand lamb right here. I want to combine all these, and then, of course, just our normal standard American Wagyu ribeye. So you're making like a turducken of, of red meat. I like to consider it a human centipede of red meat. <laughs> That's yes. probably more accurate. Yeah, yeah. It's more um, of a Caligula of red meat. Yeah, but then we're going to add some fluids from other animals in there. And Emily, that's where you come in. So meatballs typically made with like breadcrumbs and a lot of Italian people for their polpette. They think you should soak the breadcrumbs in milk. So we have goat milk right here. Oh, good. I was very concerned about what liquids you're going to talk about. What? Well, there's other ones. Like what? I don't want to because I don't want to give you ideas. <laughs> Try some goat milk. I have been asked by people at the show, just like, hey, can you get horse semen? Mm. And they think that's an appropriate question to ask. I actually really like this. Yeah, it's really good, right? Kind of sweet. It's, it's it's very sweet. It's nice. So you're going to take that. You're going to pour it into our dehydrated croissant crumbs right here. Ooh. Yeah, yeah. And I'm going to start slicing this up and getting this in the grinder. How much? Like a solid like half cup, and then you're gonna gently toss it with your fingers. Okay. Emily, I trust you to measure this, and you've never given me a reason not to trust you before. God, I hate you. <laughs> All right. I'm gonna start loading the meat into the Is grinder. That a, cup? Uh, a little bit more. One more splishy splash. One more sploosh. 
Not sp not the other splue word. Okay, does that look good? That looks great. Uh -huh. I'm gonna start hacking up. So you said to just kind of do this? Yeah, give it a little toss. Try and get it completely soaked because the idea is that that's gonna like add the nice supple tenderness to our meatballs. You know how like the Subway meatballs, you don't really have to chew. You could have just gummed it down if you wanted to. That's true. And I You're like that. Right. That's what I want to go for with these meatballs. So there's bread usually in meatballs? Yeah, typically bread and eggs are like a big, a big part of meatballs. Oh. I'm gonna start. Good to know. Hacking up. Got there we go, turn it on. There we go, meat's coming through. Emily, after those are nice and soaked, you're gonna crack two duck eggs in there. I, I see them. I expressed the eggs out of the ducks myself. I held the ducks in my hands, and I sang them a duck song that Emily's gonna repeat to you now. I love you, duck. You're the only duck I know. The name is Gerald. <laughs> There's a male duck named Gerald that laid eggs. Hey, listen, you could name a lady Gerald. <laughs> Jerry, for short. Ah. Good. People it's don't like know a... this, Jerry Hallowell, Gerald. Wait, actually? Famous Gerald. Wait, no, are you serious? Yes. Maggie laughed, cause you're taking the <laughs> piss, mate. That's what a British person would say, they say you're taking the piss right now. <laughs> How much meat do you reckon that is? That's probably about two pounds. I enjoy this amount. Okay, yeah, I don't know, about two pounds of meat. Ooh, this, this is a real stringy. Yeah, duck, duck eggs, big membrane. You know what they say about a duck with a big membrane? What are you, t why you know, are you, don't talk about you know Gerald like that. <laughs> We're taking a whole lot of fresh chopped basil ah, and a whole lot of parsley the in there. We got the garlic. Fancy ingredient, jar Calabrian chilies. Chilies from Calabria, south of Italy. They're very spicy, they're very smoky, they're very delicious. They cost about $13 on the amazon.com. Did you know you're not supposed to put the shells in the garbage disposal? Wait, why not? I thought, I thought it helped it do something. You can put the yolks down there of eggs that have gone bad, which means you have to crack them and then put them in the why disposal. Why would you do that? It's gonna make your disposal shells, small, Which I'm not doing that. I'm gonna make this a spicy Listen, meatball. I live by my own rules. You put the shells down the garbage disposal and you flush tampons. Don't care what anybody says. Rain cheese, I'm gonna rain black pepper. How do I, is there a grater somewhere? That was, oh my God. What did you think I was gonna grate you? I don't know, I just didn't know what it was. I expected one of those big graters. Okay, is it this, this way? Man, we're sleeping on goat milk. This is it, a treat. Ow, it really is good. What kind of macros we got on this? What that's is very a, solid, man. What is, ow, what is macros? Macros is short for macronutrients. So that's uh, protein, carbohydrate, and fat. And the good thing is everything's got macros. All the, all the strong boys on Instagram, they're like, you need your macros, so you can eat anything you want. Oreos got macros, goat milk got macros. Oreos have macros? Oreos got so many macros, dude. Can I have this? Uh-huh. Thanks. Hey, I think Here. I did an okay job, though. Yeah, play with it. Oh, that? What do I do with this? Toss it, keep tossing with the hands. Why? Hand toss. But then I'm gonna have to wipe up. Oh, it's okay. like hand toss pizza crust. There we go. Ah, sorry. <laughs> All right, uh, here, dump that in here, and then we're going to try and very, Emily, how delicate are your fingers? That's, I've never been asked that question before. I did just get a manicure. Did you? It's a gel nice. though, so it could stay, it'll oh. probably stay on. I feel like that looks great. Yeah? I don't know. I wanna mash it a little bit. How big are you gonna, gonna make these mash a balls? Bit. Well, we need like somewhat big balls. I figured we were gonna make yeah. these gigantic. All right, so we're gonna okay. fry these off and then we're gonna start making our sauce? Okay. Let's do it. All right. Emily, we fried off our balls in Wagyu beef tallow. They look so pretty. Those are big honking swinging balls. They right are there. huge. It's like when you see the guy at the dog park and you're like, you gotta get that thing neutered, man. That is obstructing the <laughs> way your bulldog is I thought you were gonna sir. talk about the slobbery tennis ball that has died a horrible death at the dog park, but you went there. Yeah. And I should have known. Right to yeah. the Yeah, at right this point I know bags. you well enough. Yeah. That pan be smoking. Oh, that's a great segue. I'm gonna start putting stuff in that pan. So we're making a Botarga vodka sauce. Emily, okay. ask me what Botarga is. I was gonna ask you first what vodka sauce is, cause but now there's vodka, <laughs> and yet. I didn't know if vodka was actually in vodka sauce. Yeah, so there is actually vodka in vodka sauce. But like you cook it out and like you flambe it, so you probably don't really taste it all that much, but it is a part of the sauce. Most people know vodka sauce, one, as the hot girl Gigi Hadid sauce. Nicole knows what I'm talking about. She's on her phone. We're also gonna be adding some lovely, some samarcanda vista mare. Piacere. Into there as well, it's a nice white wine, I hope. <laughs> But, what was but, the other thing? Botarga. Yeah, what is Botarga? botarga. So you take a, a fish roe sack that's filled with a bunch of eggs and then you salt cure it for a long time and then you get this weird little thing. Here, eat some. This is very popular with spaghetti alla botarga. You just grate this fresh. This All is a right. cured roe sack. That's a texture of a fruit roll up. A fish egg fruit roll up. I mean, it's uh, not. 
Ugh. Oh god! It's got that earwax taste. I've eaten a lot of Batarga before. I've just what? You I've... never tasted your own earwax? Come on! I do it all the time to see if it changes over time because then I'm worried about my pH balance. Listen, I used to eat my boogers. This is all I'm saying. I used to do it, and so when you they're the same color, you'd be like, well, maybe there's another place I can get this good, good. God, it tastes like and an then iodine just... tablet. What the hell? And then you go for the ear, and you're like, nope, no, no, this is not the same. What other of your own bodily gunks do you ingest, Emily? Tell me. Tell, ah. I mean, I don't think that the kids need to know that yet. I just think they do need to know boogers good, earwax bad. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. Hey, do you want to start cooking something? Uh-huh, sure. Cool. Can you dump all these delicious San Marzano tomatoes? Okay. You, you said I got to massage them? Yeah, dump all those delicious San Marzano Whoa. tomatoes in there and start breaking them up with your hands. This is how the Italian nonnas Ooh. do it. They go, oh, don't burn it, you that piece of good. crap. Oh my God. Okay, now we got to move because I'm burning the air max right here. What do I do? Emily, massage them with your hands. We're eventually going to pour it in here. I'm going to dump some vodka in there. <laughs> go slow, go slow. Everybody shush. Oh my God, oh my God, if you die. Ooh. Hey, I need my bangs trimmed. I might need to be in front of there. <laughs> okay. Was that cool? Did you have the music? I loved cool? it, and it was That's fast. You glaze with a little bit of that white wine. When I massage them, am I supposed to be breaking them up? Oh yeah, I didn't mean just like fondle the tomatoes. I meant like really like break them up. Listen, I didn't go to massage school. I didn't for you I went to massage school. Is that what so. you are a play that I also went to massage school? I'm like, like did I don't know, you do a okay. lot of things. I'm an You're amateur. You're a man of many talents and interests. I don't like giving this one, I don't like being massaged. I don't like people touching me. And also one time I made a massage therapist very uncomfortable. You farted. No, I didn't. They go like undressed your level of comfort. And then I was like, okay. And I started taking off my pants. I was leaving my underwear on. I was wearing long pants and they immediately go, no, no, no. And I went, oh. Cause what, they think you're just supposed to do the shirt? Well, they were, no, they were, no. They were like, wait for me to leave. And I was like, I don't, you should have said that. And the whole time I have so much anxiety about like not making a massage person uncomfortable. When I called to book them, they're like, do you prefer a male or female masseuse? And I go, oh, I don't, I don't even see gender. I just, you know, to me, it's all a spec, you know. And so I don't even, it's just whatever. I'm here for a professional massage, <laughs> you know? And then I'm like game plan for this whole thing. And then start taking off my pants. Like, oh no. But you never want to hear when you're taking off your pants. Never. Never. Okay, this tastes bad, we can agree? Yes. We still got to put it in there because we have bitter. it. It's bitter. It's really bitter, but it's... I'm assuming it, it will add something. I don't know. God, I hope so because I've, I've eaten a lot of Batarga like grated fresh on a spaghetti and it's really good. I've never felt that direct, just iodine tablet Ugh. taste in the mouth. It was iodine tablet. That's so true. Trust the process though, Emily. I believe, okay. I believe in you. I'm going to grate a whole lot of that Batarga fresh in there. God, this you better know, work. Never have I heard a name of something sound like the way it tastes. Tastes like a batarga. Yeah. All right, here. Add, this is good, all the vodka, all the white wines cooked down. Just dump in all those maters. Do you think I did it good? Yeah, we're gonna blend it later. You didn't really need to massage it. He does this to me all the time. I just like to keep her occupied. It's a good idea. Idle hands of the devil's playground. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> cool, so we are actually going to braise the meatballs in this. We fried them off just so they can hold a consistent shape. And so we're literally just gonna nestle the meatballs in there and then pop them in the oven, let them braise for about 30 minutes. And then the sauce, we didn't even season it because I want the meatballs to season it first. And then I'm gonna taste it later and then we're gonna deglaze it with cream. Look Ooh. how beautiful the balls nestle. Hey Josh, where's your phone? I know I put it here somewhere. Where's yeah, yeah. the... <laughs> Hey, there's a snake down here. Oh my God, there actually is a snake down here. <laughs> oh God, that's good. <laughs> you need a chaser for your phone? I need a, I need a, yeah, I need a razor phone. I need a beeper for my phone. We got any like, like phone crayon? <laughs> Emily, we gotta bake our bread, but hey, before we do that, if y'all wanna read about some meatballs, go check out spork.com where they did a frozen meatball taste test so you can know what meatballs are microwave and shoved down your gullet while you're watching this episode. How would you know otherwise? You wouldn't. No. Unless you had spork.com. Exactly. They help you navigate the supermarket. Every day. From the comfort of your own home. All right, cool, Emily, we're gonna make some bread. So my idea here, Subway's got, you know, we have the Italian herb and cheese. We have some Italian herbs and some Italian cheese here. Got it. What I want to do is create a Genovese pesto. You're doing it old school style in the mortar and pestle here. And then you're going to roll this out into a very thin rectangle 
Then we're gonna brush the pesto on, roll it up like a cinnamon bun or almost like a babka, and then bake it. So when you slice through that roll, you get all these layers of pesto coming at you. Okay. Does that sound good? Yeah, I think I can do it. I, but I feel like you're gonna look at me and be like, oh, just do it faster. No, don't like, do it faster. No, no, here, I'm gonna be- play around. I'm gonna be bashing it leaves until it turns into a goo. Great. So like, just play around with so that. So this is like a no pressure type situation. No pressure at all. I'm gonna start screaming at you pretty quick though. So I watched Coach Carver recently. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, Samuel Jackson, man. Oh, if he was coaching me in, in high school basketball, I, I wouldn't have. <laughs> I wouldn't have crapped my pants to practice that Did you time. know dogs can play basketball? <laughs> yeah, oh, did you watch that documentary recently about the dog that played basketball? Yeah, he was like a circus dog. And then he like ran away and found this kid and then he got, and the kid's like, everybody's, you know, parents are dead in movies. So. Yeah, yeah, but his, his parents Yeah, I know dead. dogs don't yeah, play yeah. basketball, okay guys? Yeah, yeah, you're doing good. So you wanna get that, just like a nice big rectangle. I'm gonna put some garlic in here and I'm gonna start crushing garlic with a little bit of salt just to kind of get that out there. And then I'll put some, Put some pine nuts in there for texture right now. Yeah. Yeah, just get it nice and bashed. So this is like a way that if you're making pesto, a lot of Italians be like, if you're making it in a blender, that's not real pesto, all that. And so, you know, we want to really honor this Batarga vodka sauce Subway Batarga, I was sandwich. saying it right. No, you were saying like, like Borrego. Either way. What's this? What's the yellow goo? That's egg wash. I heard you say it earlier. I'm like, you're like learning how to cook against your best efforts. Well, I thought it was a, a bowl of butter, but then I heard somebody say it and I was like, I will remember that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say egg wash. <laughs> Look at you. I'm uh, gonna get some more olive oil in there. What if I walked in one day and I just knew a lot of stuff? I. <laughs> it would be like, uh, we're gonna need to find a different. Emily, despite your best efforts, you are a YouTube cooking personality. <laughs> I don't think that's what anyone would call this. I mean, it's like, it's, it's de, de facto true, you know? <laughs> it's true. I mean, God, someone's gonna make me do something at Thanksgiving eventually. Oh God, no, never get to that. I refuse to cook for uh, anybody in my family. Why? And if they do, I say, pay me. Yeah, well, wait, so you don't? Really? No, I do, I do, I do. Especially for holidays, but like. Do you do Thanksgiving? Uh -huh. Did you ask that because I'm Jewish? I had a friend's dad, <laughs> when I was a kid, I had a friend's dad just go, did you celebrate Thanksgiving? And I was like, probably like some the ones in America, yeah? Like probably not like a Jew in Portugal, <laughs> but like. <laughs> no, I know that you celebrate Thanksgiving, but I don't know if all your family's dead. So I was like, <laughs> yeah, it's so true. Born. Well, the family that's not dead, they, they stopped inviting me to Thanksgiving. You have a table, you're like, for this ghost. That's, no, I, I have, have like, well, I have. <laughs> I have like a significant other. I go to her place for Thanksgiving. Oh, you know? so she's got a live thing? Yeah, her family's alive, Emily. Oh, that's a good one. Wow, oh, must be nice, Julia. <laughs> With your parents. Yeah. Uh, Spoiled. Uh, I miss them. All right. So. <laughs> <laughs> Pesto's looking pretty good. I mean, it's like pretty. Is this as skinny as you wanted it to be? What? Is this as flat as you want it to be? I don't want to yeah, make it too it. thin. Gotta roll. Try and give me, give me a little more out. Like get it to go out. <laughs> yeah, try and just roll this out that way, and then I'm gonna roll and tuck. But why is this like that? I did that. But why? Because I, because, because otherwise you can get a little flat end. So I'm saying if you take it like this, okay, so I can roll it out. You gotta give you a bigger runway know, to get a more rectangular. I didn't know you wanted it to stay like that. Jeez. I didn't know that was like an artistic decision. Cheese and rice. All right, cool. All right, so cool. we're gonna do more olive oil. Do you? I don't. I think it feels I've been like we're making for a so pizza. long I forgot what pesto looks like. I like pesto. I like pesto. I like that. I like, you know, we can bond on that. You know, yeah, yeah. I think it's probably good, right? You wanna try this? Yeah. You Ooh! Gotta, you gotta get more of there to splat. <laughs> that? that thing is just not great in your mouth. Yeah, I don't know why I did that, but. It's like putting a, a doll hairbrush in your mouth or something. <laughs> I don't like it. Tastes nice though, right? It does. It's like spicy. Yeah, it's a raw garlic in there. Ooh. So I'm gonna take this. I wanna save some of it and I'll add some butter in there to brush down that thing later. But well, why right can't now, I do this part? <laughs> you talk about a guy's dead parents once. And then he's like all mad at it. It was you. like eight times. It was like eight times. Well, <laughs> Are they still dead or what? Yeah, they're still like, dead, Emily. Oh yeah, they're like, still it's dead. It's not like, okay, good. Then it's like, you know, it, it's it's a thing, a gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> it's not changing. <laughs> Unlike you know? your holiday. <laughs> I'm gonna roll this up until it make it nice and tight. Were you good at sleeping bags? 
What do you mean? Rolling up the sleep. Oh, bed. I thought the other thing was like cope with my dead parents. Like, were you good at like, you know, did, was that a comfort yeah, putting for the you? Body in a sleep like a bag weighted blanket? In the river. No. All right. So I'm gonna. I did not kill my parents, by the way. If she, so she implied that. All right. So we're gonna roll this up nice and tight, and then that's beautiful. That looks and then great. I'm gonna kind of pinch down these edges. Pinch this down. That's lovely. We're gonna let this go through a second proof. Do you think that the egg bit. wash might help it stay pinched? What? No, no, this is fine. This is fine. You just pat it out. You just pat it out. Like, all right, just pat okay, it out. Just pat it out. You just pinch it down. And like grab it. Like grab it. Little, here. I'll grab it. I'll do it all myself. No, I don't need any help. I didn't have any help growing up. You know, I'm good. Welcome to I'm the stick darkest this in your mouth. cooking show. Okay. Kind of chub it up a little bit. You always want to chub Shut up. up. You always want to chub oh up. Oh my god. We're doing the oven. And then, uh, yeah, we're gonna let this go through a nice second proof. We don't need this. We gotta wait for like an hour. And then we're gonna bake it off, and then we got a bun. I can't use the egg wash yet. If you want to. What? I think you said we had to wait. Egg wash, now. egg wash. I don't care anymore. I have bigger things to think about. Like, what happens when you die? Nothing. Where are they? Nowhere. Well, fair. <laughs> Do you remember when we were eating that meatball sub earlier and we were like, wow, I love the bread goo. We were so young and naive then. So young and naive then. Uh, we love the bread goo and so I want to make like a goo for inside this sandwich. So what we're going to make, we're making a four cheese foam. We're getting a little molecular gastronomy on this. Okay. You seem like you know what all those words mean, which is good. You said mustromony? Mustronomy. <laughs> Molecular astrology. <laughs> it's where you like make a little nitrogen frozen foam and someone's like, that's such a Taurus thing of you to do. I'm an Aries. Of course you are. <laughs> <laughs> that means so much to me. <laughs> Here, you take this cream cheese and that ricotta and put it in the bottom of this bowl. Okay. I'll show you what to do later. And then, oh, the sugar too. Sugar's gonna add a nice little- uh, Sugar, nice little, Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, just to add some body to it. So I'm gonna start heating up this here goat's milk. And then we're gonna add in some Gorgonzola Dulce right here. Here, try that. Yeah. You like blue cheese? You seem like a blue I cheese I love girl. blue cheese. Oh, no. Now that's eating. Oh yeah. What's the gorg? difference between Gorgonzola and blue cheese though? Because they taste very similar. This one's Italian. Oh, it has to be made in a region? Gorlami. I can add the rind in there because we're just gonna be. Yeah, I don't mind it. a cheese rind. Yeah. <laughs> so you're just <laughs> snacking on porn. Well, I, I don't mind a lot. I mind a lot of things. No, I don't. Tell me about things you mind. What really grinds your gears? People who walk slow on the sidewalk mm. and walk in the middle. People? Pick a side. Two people who walk side by side on the sidewalk. That's some BS. You red rover that. Single file. You just red rover that. Single file. I'm busting through. No. And I, when I moved here from New York, I was a bad person. Um, compared I'm, to I'm a bad person now, but not as bad. Um, but like in New York, you gotta get places, and it's like yeah. you know the rules of the sidewalk. And I've smushed face some kids. You've oh, I thought you meant you. Yeah, kissed you just them. take a kid and you go get out of here. I thought you meant you kiss them, like you smush your face against them. I don't so want to like, kiss. Can't do that. Don't a kid, a baby, don't, don't nothing. Kiss the, don't kiss the children now. I don't want to touch. I don't want to. I, I agree with that I hate. And I touch. certainly don't want to talk. And I certainly. What don't am I want talking to you about? Your kid. You don't know anything. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to America. Oh yeah, You're there's more people than Americans who watch this. Yeah, a little I'm bit. talking to the world about how much I don't want to hang out with kids. You're you're talking to like a select 400 to 700,000 depending on where the algorithm shifts us that day. 15% mm. <laughs> of them don't live in the United States. 75% of them are men. That's weird. That's like strange. 75%? Yeah, yeah. Dang. I know. And I'm still single. I'm <laughs> <laughs> to the roughly That's not two, true. 250,000. Wait, 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 you're not single anymore? Yeah, yeah, I got a guy. You got a guy? Yeah, you have yeah, a yeah. new beau? I got a beau. Tell the world about him. He's a nice guy. He does web development stuff. That's fun. <laughs> yeah, take take your personal life and then turn it into your content. Tell, tell him. Tell him about the name. No, he might not want to be in on this. No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You just do it. Just All right. Do it. And people go, oh my we God. Were be we were besties in high school. Wait, really? Mm -hmm. That's so cool. Yeah. We did forensics together. It's a public speaking competition. What? Every time I talk about that in anything I've ever done, people delete it because it's so boring. But today, I'm yeah. hopeful. Well, we got the editor of Jaggers, like, right? He's right the there. Jaggers, you got to keep that. He's there. It's the most interesting thing you've ever heard in your life, right? Forensics? Yeah, yeah. We did uh, dramatic interpretation uh -huh. together. We did a scene from the Breck. We got the cheese melted. We're just going to strain it through here. We kind of push it through and then that's going to melt the Ooh. cream cheese. Yeah, yeah, that's nice. Because ricotta and like the Parmesan especially, it's not going to melt too well, but we want all that flavor in it there. It doesn't smell good yet. I mean, it doesn't smell good yet. It just, I don't know. Here, we'll just hop okay, that pot. Okay, there it is. Hop that pot. Okay. I'm bringing this cream cheese and then we got to let this cool and then we're going to put this in our CO2 charge canister and then we're going to foam it up.
That's the Jacques Pepin clam dance. You say that a lot, and because you keep doing it. But no, so you. So Jacques literally... Pepin dances when he gets good claims. It goes like that. But who is that? Who's Jacques Pepin? He's one of the most accomplished chefs, and he's not dead yet. Well, That's my favorite thing about Jacques stop Pepin. Stop sounding like a cartoon. So Emily, we have all. Oh my God! Everything is here that we've made. We have our <gasps> whoa, foam whoa. loaded up. That's ready to explode. We got our pesto here that we're gonna brush down on that. We got this vodka sauce. What we did is we took the sauce and the meatballs braised in, and now I'm just gonna thin it out with a little bit of heavy cream. Ooh. Yeah, make that nice and rich. That should, that should, this should be really nice, Emily. That's a good looking vodka sauce right there. Wait, you wanna taste this? Sure, yeah, I'd love to. Try that. Thank you. So I got some whole tomato chunk in there. Oh man. Pretty freaking good, right? Oh man. A lot of the wagyu fat Why can't that just there. be what tomato soup is? It should be. Is it, there the should be Campbell's fat. vodka soup. <laughs> well, that uh, sounds like something. Uh, that's just when you mix a can that of cream. That sounds like Saturday. That's when you mix, mix a can of cream mushroom soup with straight vodka and then drink it warm. <laughs> All right, okay, hey, hold on, hold on. So hey. gross. Now I'm gonna take the bread and we're gonna slice it and just see what we're working with here. Okay. See what sort of striations we got going on. Ooh, look at all that airiness. Yeah. Oh, here, snack on that, snack on that, snack on that. I'm gonna take this. Now dip it in the sauce. Dip though. in the sauce, yeah, yeah. Wait, dude, here, soak some sauce, soak, soak, soak some for me, soak some for Okay. Me. All right, I'm gonna split top this. There we go. I think it should hold together. Uh oh, it's not holding together. Anything can hold. Hold! Wait. We flew a little too we flew too close to the sun. Wait, no, it's still good. Here, Emily, pry the flaps open. But I got But keep it tucked. Eat that first. Eat that first. Eh. Is it nice? Oh yeah. Okay, here, do you see do you see the hand motion that I'm doing here? Mm-hmm. Because here's what happened is we got a lot of air, we got a lot of airflow from all the pesto uh, absorbing. But so you need me to hold it open while you put it in the oh, ball? Yeah, smell the crack though. God, there's too many in your windows. Emily, in this smell the crack. Again. Yes. You sickos, Ooh, you watched. Ooh, yeah, nice. pesto. Okay, so here, kind of like try and pry this open because I want like a nice. Okay. You know what this is actually Do you want me to mash great. this in? Try and mash it in a little bit. Well, I'm gonna eat some, I'm gonna eat some meal. Oh my God, we're not right. even gonna have anything left to put the balls in. Hold on. No. No, put your hand. Remember, you got a finger Oh, open. I thought that was the fire stick. No, what? <laughs> I thought that was the fire no, torch. The, fire the torch fire. What is that called? Burn you. What's the the blow torch? Yes. No, there this is. is the cream gun. Ah. Ah. <laughs> there it is. There. He's got a finger of the cream. I in. like the there it is. There wow, it is. that's something. Ah. All right, cool. So now we're gonna do Emily. Hold it open. I just washed my hair. All right, here. Pry this open or shove the balls in. You gotta eat your thing. Well, okay. Ew, okay. why did you suck it? I just wanted the soup. Oh. <sighs> I can't I believe I was a bread. part of that. We're about to eat so much bread. You don't fill up on bread when you're about to eat your bread. I don't bread. suck bread, dude. That is That's disturbed. That's where you and I differ. Your parents are alive, mine are dead. You don't suck bread, I suck bread. It's fine. All right, fair enough. There, you I'm made gonna, a good point. I'm pry and ball it myself. Ooh. Here we go. Here we go. Do you worry we made the Wait, meatballs here. too big? No, no, no. Get some sauce in there. Get some sauce in there. Okay. Layer it in? Yeah, yeah. You're going to let me do it? Yeah, yeah, do it. <laughs> this is an awesome idea. Nicole idea. is holding her bread. Okay, we got it. There you go. Yeah, Emily, yes! Okay. Yeah, more? that's good. No, that's good. That's good. Here, I'm just gonna <sighs> the prestige. get some balls in there. <laughs> just kind of pry it, stuff it, pry it. It is so it. foamy. It's like a cappuccino of meat. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Great. Whoa. Perfect. Here, okay. kind of mash. Here, get some more sauce on top. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, top. okay. This is holding really well. All right, all right. There it is. Here, kind of. Don't, don't go no. too hard. Sorry. Okay. Okay, that's good. Ah. No. Where's the tap? I'd be like. Yes. One more sauce. I feel, you want, do you, I know where the napkins are now. What? I'm just doing more stuff than I've ever done in an episode and I'm like stoked. Dude, cheese, Emily, cheese. Cheese, cheese, cheese. Get Where's the the buffalo mozzarella. This thing? Uh, no, almost, that, that is cheese though, you're right, that is cheese. I know. That's cheese, that's, that's cheese, that's, that's, that's cheese. Put some, put some on okay, top. Okay, put it on top, put it on top. Yeah, we need to scrape some of this off. Like that, or do you want it inside the little, the No, 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 no on top, on top, on top, because we, we right, want right, to get right, that right. like nice and broiled. And uh, Why and, are we uh, rushing? And, uh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Oh, I think this should go, eh. Shoot, What, what's what I do? Ben, no, put that, Ben, Ben, put that back. Ben, come back here. And we're just gonna brush this with pesto. That's good. What are you slurping? I hear you slurping. I'm trying to get rid of this, but well. Yeah, that's fine. You were already doing it. I so. know. I'm so gross. All right, there we go. All right. Perfect. Is that enough cheese, or do you want more cheese? No, that's good. That's good. That's good. And we're gonna pop right. this in the broiler. But wait, one last thing, Emily. What we? No. Where I go? I don't want it. We need the target. I don't want yeah, I it. No, give me, give me, the, give me the eggs. I don't. I have, no. I have more eggs. I have more eggs. I hate it. Now we're out of fish egg sacks. Are you happy? We're not using this. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna go ahead and broil this off real quick. Just get the cheese nice and melted, and then uh, we can. Where, where did she go? Oh god. No, well, you were able to get that. I did something bad. 
Now you guys have to find a snake and a bortuga. I'm just gonna go ahead and let that bake up and melt more until she's nice and melty. You don't keep pans up there. You gotta get them down sometime. We don't get the pans down. You don't get the pans. We don't use those. Well, then that's just a waste. Wait, of what pans. is that? What is that? That looks like another deep fryer. So what do you? That's, 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 oh no, that's, that's a, a punch bird bowl. bath. It's a punch bowl. Beverly, look at our beautiful, hefty boy. My boy. My son, the pan of my boy. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna take some pesto and just kind of drizzle that. These colors across are there. so pretty. Gorgeous. You don't get colors like this this subway, you know. No, you don't. So kind of pull this over. You get them at oh, Christmas. Oh, yeah, you get them at Christmas. That's right. What else you get at Christmas? Presents and time with your family. <laughs> you brought it up. Oh, yeah, I can just bring up Christmas, and it doesn't have to be like, all right, so we're gonna great. He's such a victim. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna put on the parmesan cheese. <laughs> just a little bit of parmesan, you know, just to kind of. Kind of oh my gosh. What else are you gonna put on it? Yeah, a little bit of No! Of I'm like, How did you get this? What? I found it. You found it? I have eyes everywhere. It was either up in the dusty place or on the floor place. My spiders, they crawl. Is it rubbing on my spiders. butt? You can't use it. No, that makes it more expensive. No! Who knows on the internet would pay a lot for that? All right, so we got that. Beautiful. And now I'm just gonna take some basil leaves. Emily, I'm just gonna tuck them. I feel like this would around. be really, it would skip on a river. Beautiful. A very stinky it's river. Gonna tuck some, <laughs> go down to the LA River. Ben wants to. That is not to, recyclable. I just put it in the recycling. I am go. sorry. Emily, we have our beautiful and delicious looking. I mean, this is a big chungus it's a of a beautiful meatball sub. Boy. Let's see how it compares to the original. <laughs> just got it loose in there? Yeah. All right. <laughs> we, we bought this at the same time that we ate it in the beginning of the episode, and it has disintegrated yeah. into mush. It's looking a little bit more flaccid than before. Hey, Cheers. Ain't nothing wrong with a flaccid ball. <laughs> it is wet. Still good cheese, though. It's cheese, it's cheese good. Yeah. I like the goo. I like the goo. Ooh. Which? Okay. I'm gonna cut this in half. Oh Hold yeah. On. You grow, oh my god, oh my Whoa. god. Oh my god, is okay. this gonna just burn us? Where do we go at it? I don't know, I'm going at it from the side, but I'm gonna unhinge my jaw a little bit. I'm gonna go at it from the back. <laughs> <laughs> All right, like fair enough. Cheers. Cheers, this is great. Okay, here we go. Oh man. The bread is so fluffy. This is one of the better things that has come into my mouth. Me. <laughs> what? You heathens, wait, where's the sauce? <laughs> yeah, that is the move. I want to do too. Do it. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Aw, no more, no more. No more? No more. Sorry. All right. <sighs> No, no, no. It's like you have to take a lot of deep breaths before okay. going in. Look how hot this ball is. Look at it. Hey, you gonna suck the ball out? <laughs> remember when you sucked balls out in the car? Oh, I remember. I'm hoping they're gonna keep that in for reference. They're better now they have to. Yeah. Oh, my heart hurts. Hey, Josh. Uh, yep. How much is this? <laughs> Sorry. Hey, Josh. Yeah. How much is this? Oh my god. I almost Hang did. on. Let me try it again. Josh. Emily. How much is this? What if I told you, Emily? What, what? if I told you? Are you sitting down? Sit down. Three hundred eleven dollars eighty nine cents. What? Are you shocked yet? Is that the most money we spent on one of these episodes? No, I think it's like the seventh most, but that's okay. Well, I'm talking about the ones I was in. Me? No, dude, the Jack and the I, Well, I don't know. Well, that's a good point. It's a, but I think this is the best thing we made together. This is I think dang. this might be the best thing that you've ever made in my presence. All right. I got a fart. Thank you so much for stopping by the Mythical Kitchen. We got new episodes for you every week. We got new episodes for podcasts, hot dogs, and sandwich every Wednesday, wherever you get your podcasts. Hit us up on Instagram and Kitchen with Mythical Kitchen. Make sure to hashtag dreams come food. If you think about it, farts are like a like a downstairs whisper. <laughs> We'll see y'all next time. Hey you, cook up your own feast while wearing the Mythical Kitchen Apron. Available now at mythical.com.